Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Dave Llewellyn. Firefighters had their hands full early this morning when a historic Detroit church went up in flames. Tonight, that church is a total loss. And the 7 Action News reporter Nima Chaffe explains firefighters ended up battling more than just the church fire. Sources tell me this isn't the first time that people have tried to set fire to the first Unitarian church here at the corner of Edmond and Woodward in Detroit's Midtown section. In fact, while Detroit fire crews were battling this fire this morning, they ended up needing a little help themselves. The fire raced through this corner church, a church that just a few years ago closed its doors. Detroit firefighters got the call around 6.30 this morning. We attempted a an inside assault on it and we had to bring the guys out and uh, we had to let it burn now. Flames tearing through the roof of the First Unitarian Church. All fire crews could do is watch and pour water on it. Sources tell me it's clear it's arson, but no definite confirmation will be given until investigators are allowed inside. All we heard was that the building was, they were attempting to tear it down, but they couldn't tear it down because it was protected underneath the, histor uh, the historical society. Um, that's all we know. And while crews battled this massive fire, they ended up needing some help themselves, calling trucks over to put the fire on engine nine out. The engine nine overheated and started on fire, that's correct. Uh, we had to call another engine to put it out. Uh, it's out, they're gonna be towed away and uh, see if we can get it back in service. Hurting an already strapped fire department, setting a new standard, doing more with less. And investigators are needing your help. If you have any information that you believe could help them in their investigation and determine what might have caused this fire, you're urged to call the Detroit Fire Department for the Crime Stoppers Tips Hotline. In Detroit's Midtown, I'm Nima Shafe, 7 Action News.